Are you looking for the best wheelbarrows? In this video, we will look at some of the best wheelbarrows on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Best Choice Products Dual Wheel Wheelbarrow. At a glance, this Best Choice Products Dual Wheel Wheelbarrow appears almost puny. It has a lightweight plastic bed and a tubular steel frame that belies the actual ability of the wheelbarrow. In reality, this wheelbarrow admirably held its own through our terrain test, including the hill portions. We pushed it and pulled it up and down a 30-degree slope while loaded to capacity with soil and stone and had zero complaints. The large pneumatic tires and long loop handle are the keys to its successful design. We also like the low, squatty shape of the cart. It makes for easy loading and dumping. Plus, the traditional wheelbarrow-shaped bed would be easy for mixing up a batch of concrete or home recipe potting soil. The foam cushion grip made for more comfortable, less slippery work. The listed weight capacity of 330 pounds seems a bit exaggerated due to the thin-gauge steel frame and plastic bed, but to be fair, our tests didn't uncover a weakness. Assembly could have been easier, the tires did not come pre-inflated, and the bolts had wide slotted screw heads instead of hex heads, which would have been easier to grip. In general this is a pretty versatile cart capable of working harder than it appears. At Number 2. Gorilla Carts for Cubic Feet Poly Yard Cart. A combination of high weight capacity, easy one-handed operation, and excellent stability set the Gorilla Carts for Cubic Feet Poly Yard Cart apart from the competition. Loaded with mulch or concrete blocks, its wide wheelbase and pneumatic tires roll through our terrain test with ease. The articulating front wheels and bent shaft handle made it easy to accomplish a 90-degree turn without coming to a complete stop. And the tall frame offered ample ground clearance without losing stability. We also liked the simple, effective dump bed feature. It was not too heavy to control with a full load of mulch, thanks to a well-balanced pivot point. The spring-loaded bed latch worked smoothly by simply lifting up on the handle. Another exceptional point is that the bed height was just right for sitting when we placed a board across the top. Because of the structural ridges in the base and vertical sides of the poly bed, thoroughly mixing a batch of potting soil or concrete would be difficult. And if you're trying to navigate a narrow garden path, the wide wheel base might be a bit too much. But for most yard and garden tasks, this cart excels. At number 3. Makita XUC01X1 Brushless Power Assisted Wheelbarrow. Makita's power assisted, motorized wheelbarrow lightened our loads by doing some of the hard work. On both flat and upward sloping ground, the electric motor pulled full loads of mulch and concrete blocks at a comfortable walking pace with no hesitation. On the downhills, the handbrake significantly improved control compared with freewheeling with only operator muscle to slow down. Sand, gravel, and branches presented no problems. The kit came in two boxes, one with the motorized frame, handlebars, rear swivel casters, and optional rear stationary legs, and the other with the bin. The steel bin is built just like a conventional wheelbarrow bin. The motor, battery pack, brakes, and LED headlights came pre-assembled, so we only needed to put the body and bin together. Assembly was no more difficult than the others we tested, it took about 45 minutes using common hand tools. Batteries are sold separately. With the rear swivel casters attached, heavy loads were stable and easy to move, although moving in reverse was slightly less stable. Using the rear stationary legs, the operator lifts up the handles to travel, as with a regular wheelbarrow. This setup worked better for narrow pathways and articulate turns. But it was a bit more challenging with a heavy load because the handles are about 6 inches shorter than those of a regular wheelbarrow, so the operator has less lifting leverage. At Number 4. Works WG050 Aerocart 8 inches to 1 yard cart. Admittedly, our wheelbarrow testing regimen only scratched the surface of what the Aerocart can do, so we decided to take it a bit further. On the regular test, the Works product performed well. We easily pushed it uphill, downhill, and across numerous surfaces while loaded with soil and concrete blocks. The volume is smaller than average, which made up for the fact that the solid rubber dolly-type wheels would otherwise have dug into the sand. As a wheelbarrow, it is mostly limited to smaller, but not necessarily light-duty, jobs. 
It feels well built, with a steel frame and bin, and assembly was the easiest of all that we tested. What sets this cart apart is the number of peripheral jobs it accommodates. We moved the wheels into the hand truck configuration to try out other features. The hand truck would be super helpful around the house or garage. We used it with the included propane cylinder mover, leaf bag holder, potted plant mover, and boulder mover, which moved a stump for us. It worked as well or better than a conventional wheelbarrow or hand truck for each of those tasks. At number 5. Rubbermaid Commercial Products Yard Cart. Just looking at this wheelbarrow, we could see it is built for transporting bulk material. It holds more than a quarter of a cubic yard, so filling it up with a shovel took some time. When it was fully loaded, we rolled it through our obstacle course, and it performed well, although it was heavy on the uphill. The hard wheels only bogged down slightly in the sand. The shape is perfect for dumping. Loading and unloading blocks was cumbersome due to the depth of the bin and the slopes of the front and rear walls. We felt like this would be an excellent choice for anyone who hauls lots of loose material such as compost, mulch, weeds, or sticks. It also would be suitable for mixing a batch of potting soil or concrete because of the smooth tub base and sloped ends. However, the large volume and thin wheels could lead to problems with overloading if you don't monitor weight.